Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wisconsin Greg Show. I'm um, just going to go through my camera equipment today and show you what I use. I've had a couple requests uh, from subscribers uh, wanting me to show you what I started out with and uh, <coughs> how I advanced and what I'm up to now. I've only been doing this for about two years, maybe just a little bit over two years. And uh, I started out pretty basic with uh, just a basic cell phone and I moved up. Uh, now I got a couple cameras so I got a backup and stuff. Uh, so I just thought I'd come here and uh, just lay everything out on the table and kind of explain to you what I have. Uh, so hopefully this will get uh, <coughs> get uh, new YouTubers and interested and uh, show you don't need a whole lot to get started and uh, you can build yourself up eventually. So I'm just going to get up back behind this camera and uh, show you what I got. Okay, I'll show you what I started out with two years ago. This was a, my cell phone that I had at the time, a Galaxy S6. And uh, I made a whole lot of videos with that camera right there. Um, that was one of, that's what I started out with. And I didn't use anything else. Uh, and then eventually I noticed that uh, sound was very important to making videos. And uh, then I went to the Lavalier mic. Uh, which is just a very simple microphone. I have two of them. I'm using one right now <coughs> um, Of course, it's going to be all tangled up here on camera But anyways, it's just just a microphone that clips onto your shirt Right there and plugs into your phone Got a plug like that on the other end that plugs right into your phone cell phones in a long time, I never had a um, foam cover over the microphone, and that's very important to keep the wind noise out. Uh, now I have foam, co foam, foam covers on both of my lavalier microphones, uh, so that that makes it a lot better out in uh, windy conditions. Put these back in here, and. The Galaxy S6 and the Lavalier microphone was my two main things that got me started on the YouTube making videos. So that right there can show you, you don't need a whole lot to get going. Um, and you don't need a Galaxy S6. You can go with a very low, the lower model cell phones. As long, you know, as long as it's got a decent camera on them. Most of them do now. A lot of the cameras on these, on the cell phones are better than... Uh, the older cameras that they used to have, the big old cameras. Uh, but anyways, I made a lot of videos on them and uh, just wanted to show you that you don't need a whole lot. Uh, the next thing I upgraded to, uh, went from there on, was to a uh, um, tripod. Uh, I went and got a tripod, a real good tripod, which I'm using right now. Um, I'll take this camera off of here and show you the tripod real quick. Here's my tripod. It's called a Magnus VT-300. You want a tripod that's very, very sturdy. Uh, this is a very easy to adjust the legs and stuff. Uh, and then I have an adapter on the top here for the cell phones called... The company is called uh, The Voice, D-A-V-O-I-C-E. And uh, it just uh, expands. Just pull that up and down. And uh, slip your camera in there. Very easy. So it's kind of hard to videotape here in the kitchen. There's not much room in here. You got rubber feet so it doesn't slide around. And uh, I believe what they call it is a fluid head, so it's very smooth when you rotate it. Okay, so the next thing I discovered for making uh, YouTube videos was that lighting was very important. And uh, a lot of them, some of my videos were made in the house. I did uh, quite a few reviews. Uh, still occasionally do them. Uh, I want to get back into doing some more of them. Uh, in the near future, I got a few things I want to review. And uh, so I ended up buying this lighting uh, set. It came with two of these. The company's name is C-R-A-P-H-Y. 
um, and the model number is C-204. Uh, they come with a case to put them in and a tripod to hold them. Uh, it all came together and I think it had a couple different colored lenses. Uh, I don't use the different colored lenses. I just use this just basic lens that came with it. And um, uh, that's pretty much it. I, you can use, a, there is some kind of a camera battery that you can slide in the back of here. I don't have that because I don't have that type of camera. Uh, otherwise you can use, there's six AA batteries in each one of these. And um, you can get rechargeable batteries or um, right, you can use regular batteries if you want. Uh, but just a warning, they do really eat through batteries very, very fast. Uh, and just on the back, there's a knob to adjust them from 10% up to 99% brightness. Uh, when you got them at 99% brightness, it's pretty bright. Um, so I try to do most of my video um, under natural light outside. That's the best way to go if you can do that. Uh, but here in Wisconsin, if you want to make videos all year round, uh, a lot of, I make a lot of my videos inside. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty hard because sometimes we have a lot of blizzards and stuff and you just can't get outside. Uh, or it's way, way too cold. Uh, so I make a lot of my videos inside and that's why I need the natural lighting or the, the, the lighting kit here. Uh, so if I would go to buy these again, I would say I would probably look around. I'm not sure. I, the only reason I would say that is because I didn't like the fact that I, had to, I have to take a battery out every time to keep it from going dead. Uh, I don't know why that is. I, had a, I don't think it does it all the time, but I had to go dead once. And if you're using regular batteries and you leave them in there one time and they're dead, that can get awful expensive. Uh, so anyways, this is it. It comes with a case to put it in. And uh, so I'll get back over here and we'll go on from there. And uh, I'm not sure, I might be off a little bit on the order of some of how, how I got some of this stuff, um, but I'm gonna try to keep it pretty close to an order. Uh, one of the next things I got was this little tripod, which I got as a Christmas present. Um, that's another way you can get build up your camera equipment is if you make a Christmas list, uh, and, uh, tell people who are buying your Christmas presents some things that uh, you could really use instead of getting stuff that you don't need. Uh, that's a excellent way. Um, this comes in very handy. It's a little mini tripod. Uh, uh, if you're going to go walking through the woods or something, you can clamp it onto a tree and uh, take a video of yourself while talking, the introduction, the introduction or the ending of a video while you're out in the woods or you can use it for all kinds of things. You can clamp it onto a, uh, a, a bolt or something if you're on a bolt. Uh, you could do all different things with this thing. Uh, you could just set it down in front of some flowers and let the video continue while the bees are zooming in on the flowers. Uh, there's many, many uses. Uh, whatever your imagination can think of, uh, you can use these little things for that. Uh, it's got a thing on the top for uh, putting your cell phone in. It kind of works the same way as the other one does. I have found out that these do not work as well. Uh, you can take these. This comes off. This is not part of the tripod. Uh, and you can get a, the other kind that I talked to you about, the one at the beginning of the video. Uh, but so far, this one hasn't broke on me. Uh, but I have had one that did break on me that was just like this. Uh, so I like the other type better. I haven't had that one break on me yet. So that was one of the next things. Um, at the beginning of the video I talked about the lavalier microphones. And I got two of them. And uh, I just recently bought a, um, a splitter that can be used for uh, both of these. So that I can do like, uh, if I want to use the direct microphones, wired microphones for uh, interviewing somebody or something. So I can have one for me and one for them. And uh, so I can get some distance from the camera. I also bought another cable, which is right in this little box here. And uh, it's a long cable. I can't remember how long it is right offhand, but it's pretty long. So then I can have, I can either hook it up to just one single microphone or I could have a split for two two people. So 
So that's kind of handy. I haven't used that yet. That's uh, one thing in the future I want to do is some interviews with some people, uh, different different subjects. Uh, so that should be interesting. And then future, hopefully, I can get that going. Um, one of the other things that I bought, I think, which was next down the line here, was this uh, power pack, I guess you call it. You can charge it with your cell phone or your solar or whatever you want to use to charge it with. And uh, it holds a lot of power. Um, one of the next things you'll see on my thing here is I got a GoPro camera. And uh, they go through batteries very, very fast. So if I wanted to use that GoPro camera, say, uh, to monitor the, an eclipse or uh, the, the stars at night I could hook it up to that power pack and uh, leave it for several hours uh, without the batteries going dead uh, it would just keep going forever or not ever but for a long long time so that comes in very handy uh, I didn't actually buy that for camera use uh, I bought that for camping so I could use it out camping and I'd have uh, extra power out in the woods where there is none available uh, for my cell phones and stuff. So uh, let me see here. Next thing I did is I ended up buying a GoPro camera. Uh, it was the GoPro Hero 7 Black. And that's this one here. And on here I have it mounted to a little tripod, which it folds up like this and you can carry it in your hand. Um, and then it also extends out like three stages high, so you can use it. You can extend it out, it comes in very handy. Um, I bought that, the, the GoPro 7 Hero in a kit. I can't remember. I think it was called an action kit. I'll leave the, that down in the description of what kind of a kit I bought. Um, but it came with all kinds of accessories, which I'll show you some of them. This one particular accessory did not come with it, though, this handle here. That was separate. I, bought, I paid extra for that. Some of the accessories that came with it is a... This here is a chest mount. I used this on my motorcycle. Uh, I made a video on that, and you can check that out in my videos. Uh, that comes in very handy for stuff like that. Um... Also in here I have a, a head mount which I have not used yet because this is fairly new yet. And uh, this, this little case here is where I keep my GoPro camera right here. And uh, inside the case I have uh, two spare batteries since they do go dead very fast. And an uh, extra lens cap because they, they would be very easy to get lost. And then I got a cleaning cloth for the lenses. And uh, there's a charging cable that, um, actually this charging cable is actually for uh, my um, gimbal, which I forgot over here, which I'll show you in the ne next here. Uh, but for my accessories for the GoPro, there's all kinds of adapters that come along with it, and some I bought extra. And you can, it's kind of, you can put them together any way you want. This one here is extra piece that I bought, uh, which I thought I could use or thought it would be handy on the kayak because uh, I can take the camera and I can just reach up and turn it and set it. I don't have to loosen no knobs or anything. And I can turn it like if I want to make a uh, video off to the side of my, while I'm going along shore or something, I can just reach up and grab it and turn my camera. So then I can go and videotape along shore and... Uh, I want to aim it straight ahead again. I can just reach and turn it straight ahead. That's very handy. Um, they came in a two pack. Here's another one, that section right there that turns. So I got two of them. Uh, bought a battery charger for the GoPro that plugs into your, you can plug into your vehicle or you can plug into a, any kind of a charger, a phone charger that you have. Uh, you can charge three GoPro batteries at one time. Uh, so I can take this with me and I can charge them right in my car or I can charge them at home on my kitchen counter or whatever I want to do. That comes in handy. Um, 
I got these foam covers that go over the GoPro camera, uh, which I haven't tried yet. Um, I did make a video with my GoPro camera on the motorcycle and there was a lot of wind noise. Uh, supposedly, if when you put these on, the wind noise goes away, so I'll be making a video on that. Uh, hopefully before winter time and uh, you can see the difference if it works or not This is another cover that when I take my uh, GoPro on the canoe uh, this goes over it. It's a foam uh, I don't know what you call it. It's a pretty hard foam. It's not like the soft foam for the noise uh, But it floats uh, they call it a floaty and uh, that if it would ever come off of your kayak or canoe or boat or whatever uh, it would float and you could retrieve it and it's easy to see um, <clears throat> this is a handle i haven't used yet just to hold on to if you're like videotaping from a boat holding on a boat or uh, say a pier or anywhere locking along the water if you may trip and drop your camera in the water uh, this would float uh, also uh, this would be for hand carry. I also came with a bunch of adapters that can be stuck on. I got one stuck on my kayak and I got one stuck on the dash of my truck right now. I'll uh, probably end up putting one in the tractor and uh, maybe even some on some of the farm equipment. Who knows? Uh, but they can be stuck on to almost anything. There's curved and flat ones, so they can fit on most surfaces. So you could put them on like a, on your helmet even. On top of your helmet, put a camera if you're riding on a motorcycle, a snowmobile, or whatever like that. There's so many things you can do with the GoPros. It's unlimited. Um, then I had uh, advanced so I can use this thing here for like a, a vlogging kit if I'm walking and want to talk and uh, the microphones that come with them are waterproof so they're not the best quality microphones so what I did is I bought let me show you here I bought this little adapter right here nothing but plastic and some guy made this and he's probably making tons of money off of it and uh, it's very handy Let me see if I can show you here Okay, so this just slides onto your camera Just like that and then uh, in order to hook up an external speaker onto a GoPro you have to buy one of these units which are really really hard to get I kind of lucked out um, they're always on back order but if you keep your eyes open eventually they come off of back order and you can get one and <clears throat> let's see here this slides into this and then you plug this down here you got it there's a cover on the camera you have to take off so when you're using an external speaker here, your camera will not be waterproof. And this will, I don't have the cover off right now, but this will plug in right here. So then, uh, then I can use any of the external speakers that I have. Uh, if I want to use a lavalier mic though, I have to use this adapter because it's a different hookup. It's, uh, bring this up real close here. You can see there's like, Two black rings on there and let me get the other microphone here <clears throat> so this is another road microphone that I use uh, I use that with my uh, cell phone, and then I can also use this with my GoPro Hero 7 black camera also. So this can go mount right on top of that black plastic piece that I slid on top of the camera. And I can have it either facing me or facing out, depending on what I'm videotaping. If I'm videotaping some birds chirping in the trees, I want it facing out. If I'm vlogging, I want it facing towards me. 
Um, then you plug this cable right into here. And that's basic, that's just a basically rundown or easy, a quick rundown of how it works. Um, it's all hooked into there, it'd be hooked in there. Uh, you can uh, hook this off to the side so it's out of your way and stuff. But just wanted to give you a rundown of what it looks like. So that comes in very handy and gives you good quality sound, which you normally don't get. But the only thing you do lose is your waterproof part of it uh, because your cover would be off the side of your GoPro. You have to use that, you keep the cover off to keep that plugged in, the microphone plugged in. Uh, but you can see that's a very, very small, small setup for vlogging and it can come in very handy. For vlogging, you'd have the microphone turned the other direction, but you get the point. It's very easy just to pull it off and turn it around. So, uh, there is a lot of differences in cables, which I'm going to start marking my cables and stuff so I make sure I don't get them mixed up. Um, let me show you here. For the, for the GoPro, like I said before, you need an you need a, the plug-in that plugs into the GoPro looks like that. And the plug-in that pl cell phones would look like that. So this one here has got two black ends on it. And they've got the same ends on both ends. This, this would be used for the... Um, let me get this in focus. This would be used for the GoPro. You want this end on both ends. Hopefully that shows up. And uh, when you're using the microphone on uh, Galaxy S9, it's an S9 Plus, but it's the same thing, S9 or S9 Plus, you need this, this end to plug into the phone. You need this end to plug into the phone. You can see it's got more rings around it. I don't remember the correct name for it. Um, and then as in the other end, which plugs into the microphone, would look like that. So I have to get my cables marked. That's another thing on my agenda is to get a labeling system so I can mark these so I don't get them mixed up. Um, but there's always something to do. Just recently for the GoPro Hero Black 7, I bought this set here. It's a um, Tillerson and it's got ND filters. And I've just started to play around with these. Um, use these on uh, sunny days. They're kind of like a sunglass for your camera. And uh, it kind of changes the view of the camera a little bit and makes it look a little bit better. So I'm playing around with that right now. It's kind of a new thing I'm playing around with to get some better video, better quality video. And another thing I just recently bought, which I haven't really played around with much yet, um, is this, this goes on to the lens of the um, GoPro camera. And it's a uh, turns, it's adjustable, and it's called an aerial filter it's a polarizer filter for the gopro and uh you turn it uh, it's good for like looking into water if you've got clear water it'll take the glaze off the top of it so let's say there was fish in the water or something you could see the fish in there uh, or if you're at a place where there's glass say like an aquarium or something where you're videotaping aquarium uh, uh, the fish inside there, or you want to like videotape through the windshield of a car, like looking in, or at a car show, the shininess on the paint jobs or something, this would take that away so you don't have that glare. So that's another thing I'm playing around with right now. I've only used this like once so far. Um, this is just a selfie stick. Uh, it's adjustable. It's got three different levels you can adjust it out to, which goes very, very far. Um, 
just by looking at it, I would guess it's around four feet, something like that. Uh, I used it when I was out in the soybean field once making a video. Um, just wanted to show you that it come that came with the kit also. It's got locks here where you can lock it at whatever level you want it to be at, and uh, it comes in a little case to put it in. That's something I probably won't use a whole lot, but that came with the set, and I'll use it uh, once in a while. Probably not a whole lot though. So wanted to make sure to show you that. I also have another Rode microphone that I can use with my uh, cell phone if I'm just carrying it, uh, not on the gimbal. Um, this just plugs right into the microphone jack and uh, just you just push up against it and that keeps it in place. <clears throat> kind of hard to see you here with all this fuzzy stuff on here. And you just push this against your phone and hold it in place. Um, you can use this either facing you or the, or out towards the, uh, whatever you're videotaping. Uh, this goes kind of in the same concept as uh, two is one and one is none. Uh, it's a kind of a backup in case something should happen to my other microphone. Uh, plus I also have the lavalier microphones. So anyways, I just wanted to show you that. Um, I'll give you an idea of what it looked like on a camera. Looks something like that. Uh, looks a little bit ridiculous. They call that a dead cat. Uh, uh, but it does work marvelous uh, when you're in the wind. It takes all the wind noise out. or I'd say 90 some percent of it. It's very, very good in the wind. Uh, I like them. I don't care how ridiculous they are. It makes your videos sound a lot better. Uh, just wanted to show you that. And... Uh, move on here so I'm learning all as I go it's a learning experience um, I keep all my equipment uh, most of it except for the tripod and the lighting in this bag which I bought at Lowe's which is a tool bag but it works out very very well uh, everything fits in there and I can just grab it and go so I have everything with me uh, so I like to have the uh, two cameras, as they always say, uh, two is one and one is none, uh, because things get lost and stolen, and uh, sometimes accidents happen, broke. Uh, one of my YouTube subscribers just recently had his camera slide off the trunk of his car uh, with his gimbal hooked onto it, and that could be very expensive. Luckily, it didn't do a whole lot of damage. Um, but anyways... Uh, I'll go on to the next thing that I recently purchased. Uh, actually, I purchased this actually just before the GoPro, but they were very close to the same time. Uh, and that was this thing right here, which is my gimbal uh, that I used. And this folds up so I can just carry it with me, or you can unscrew it if you don't want these legs on there. But I like to take them with me in case I want to set them down on on a table or something uh, to make an intro video or a video at ending video or whatever and uh, this makes your videos very very uh, I would call it cinematic very very smooth uh, less less uh, jerkiness uh, which works out very very good with a cell phone uh, get I can very I can really really tell the difference um, I'll hook this up here and show you how this works. Uh, with the GoPro 7, it, uh, it's got a, I don't remember what they call it. I think it's called hyper smooth stabilization. Uh, I think that's the correct word. Uh, but it is very, very smooth also without a gimbal. Uh, it's, they say it's almost as good. I think it's, I, I can't personally tell the difference with or without a gimbal. It's so smooth. It's really good. Um, and that's just a built-in feature right inside the camera so you don't have the excess weight of the gimbal so they each got their trade-offs though you know the batteries ain't don't last as long and uh, uh, one thing that I did not know with, with the GoPro 7 when you're videotaping 
uh, videotapes it in sections only. I can't remember. It depends on the video quality and everything. So you, as you videotape, it's not all one video. It's all uh, sections of videos. Uh, not, I, that's not one thing that I care about as much. It makes editing a little bit more complicated, I would say you could call it, especially for a beginner. Uh, but you got your trade-offs, uh, you got your compactness and uh, your waterproofness, and uh, so you just got to decide what's important to you. Uh, so I'm going to hook this gimbal up and uh, show you what how it works here. Okay, I uh, just put my Galaxy S6, my old camera, in there. I don't use that on this, so it's not set up for it or anything. It's not balanced, but at least I can give you a general idea of what it would look like with my uh, Galaxy, uh, Galaxy S10 uh, camera on there, uh, which I haven't showed you yet, which I'm using to make this video. Uh, but anyways, uh, it would, it, this will show you how you can move it in and out and stuff and it stays level and uh, you can turn and it turns very smooth and uh, you can program, download a program onto your cell phone and uh, it uh, communicates between your phone and uh, the gimbal so you got all your controls right here, you don't have to touch your phone. Uh, not maybe not all of them but all the main ones that you need then you can zoom in and out with this uh, I'm not gonna go through that because I'm no camera expert uh, but there's lots of videos online uh, that will show you how to do it um, uh, the model of this is let me see if I can tell you it's the make is Z H I Y U N Zion um, and it's called a, uh, let me see here, a Smooth 4, I believe it is. Um, I can leave that down in the description too. Um, and I had to buy this ring around here as an adapter so I could put a microphone on here. And uh, like the other one, you can take the microphone off and turn it around if you want to face them this way. Uh, this would be for vlogging. The other way would be for like listening to birds or events or you want whatever's going on, you know. Um, but it's very, very handy. Um, I, I use this as my, this is my main camera, uh, that I use, main setup, not with this camera, with a Galaxy S10, which is very similar to this, um, but it looks the same. So, uh, it works very good. Fold this up or you can take them off. Um, not too heavy. Um, the Galaxy, or the GoPro, the 7 is a lot lighter. Uh, but this has a lot better uh, battery life, and uh, uh, it's just uh, your videos are all in one, so it makes things easier. Uh, this is my preferred setup right here. Um, so, anyways, I'll try to show you my Galaxy S10 uh, that I do use with this gimbal. So let me get back here and. Uh, I'll start videotaping with my GoPro so I can show you that camera. Okay, here's my camera. I said before it was a Galaxy S10. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what I was thinking. It's not an S10. I know better than that. It's a Galaxy S9 Plus. Uh, this is my main camera. Uh, I don't know why I said that, but anyways. Um, this is my main camera. I'm videotaping this with the GoPro 7 Black right now. Um, one of the biggest issues I had uh, in order to get this to fit into my um, gimbal, uh, I had a case on it. I um, can't remember the name of it right now. It's a popular case. But anyways, it wouldn't fit the gimbal. So I had to go to a local box store and get a cheap um, case for it. And, uh, Found, finally found one that would fit. It only cost me $5, so that was a good thing. Uh, but then uh, the cables wouldn't fit in the end. The holes were too small, so I had to kind of drill or file out the holes in the case so that the cables could fit in. They wouldn't plug in all the way. I don't know, that's kind of poor design on whoever made that case, but 
anyways I finally got a case that works now and uh, it works with the gimbal so I don't have to pull it out of my case every time I want to use it on the gimbal so that's my main camera right there um, I think I got everything in, that I was going to show you here and these are, this is all the main stuff that I use so let me turn this camera around here and I'll be with you in just a second. Oh, there's one more thing here I forgot. Uh, this is inside my truck. Uh, this is a windshield mount that I use when I'm uh, making a video in my vehicle. Uh, I can have the camera either facing, turn the screen so it's either videotaping in front of me or I can videotape with inside the cab. Uh, it's a suction cup and it's got sticky stuff on the suction cup. Uh, it sticks really well. Um, can't remember the name of this. It's Wiz something. I'll leave that in the description too down below. Um, it's got a magnetic mount so you put a plate on your camera, uh, stick it to your camera and uh, it's just e very easily to get on and off. Um, I got my old camera here. I'll just show you how it sticks on there. So it works very easily. <clears throat> you can stick it that way or you can uh, stick it that way if you want to. I do all my videos like this. Um, and then uh, this is the, I'm not sure if you can see that little plate right there is a mount for sticking it on, stick it on your camera so it'll stick to the windshield mount, that little square thing there. And um, then I also, this is a GoPro mount that I have on the Dash 2, so right back to the same old thing, two is one and one is none. Got to have multi-uses multi, uh, in case one breaks, multi-purpose multi I guess you'd call it. Uh, always, have, always good to have a backup. Uh, sorry it's raining out here right now, but just wanted to... Show you that I almost forgot. So I'm gonna go turn this camera around here and uh, get back in the house, and uh, then we'll end this video. Well, I hope that kind of explained it. I'm sorry I was kind of all over the board, uh, jumping around. It's kind of hard to do because you buy stuff at different times. I'm trying to give it to you the order I bought it, but uh, some of it works with both things, and it's just hard to do. And plus, it's hard to make a video with about your camera equipment when you need your camera equipment to make a video. So anyways, uh, hopefully this turns out okay uh, and answers some of your questions and uh, gives you an idea of what I use for equipment. If you've got any questions that I can answer, I'll be happy to answer them if I can. Uh, like I say, I'm not a camera expert or anything like that, uh, but I'll do my best. Uh, so anyways, uh, hopefully uh, this will get you uh, new, new YouTubers. Uh, uh, interested hopefully and maybe you want to start out with just the basics and get started and see how you like it uh, anyways I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you do that um, so I'm gonna end this video and I uh, hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll catch you on the next video bye now